Okay, so I was just looking at a guitar noise gate plugin that I'm not gonna say the name of and I was looking how it works and I thought it was pretty clever and I tried to recreate it in Reaper. And I want to start by saying that Rear Gate is seriously a really really good noise gate plugin and you can make it even better with what I'm about to show you. So the way that plugin works is that they have a sort of a splitter right before the amp and the pedal and the gate goes after the amp like this and the splitter is basically sending the signal of the DI only to the rear gate for it to be triggered. That means that you can have your gate after the amp but trigger the gate using your DI signal. The advantage of this is that you will be triggering the gate with the cleanest signal and not all of these little noises and stuff that amps tend to make. Setting it up is actually super simple and I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm just gonna delete all of this and put the gate where it was. So first, yeah, your gate would probably here. Let's put it after the amp and we need now a splitter. And this is actually just any JS plugin, honestly. So let's, any plugin in general. So I'm just gonna go with volume adjustment, zero dB. This one does nothing. So let's have that and open that one. And in here, you're gonna press this button where it says two in, two out, press there and in here, Let's go with three and four, checking these boxes like this. This is gonna make it so it's it sends the signal to one and two, and also three and four. Now, we go to our gate plugin, which is after the amp, click there, and detector input, we're gonna make it auxiliary input. That way, it's actually listening from the DI instead of the amp. You see how the noise is bigger after the amp, and when I change it to auxiliary input, which is my DI signal, that's a cleaner signal. That means you'll get a more precise gating. Now, about the rear gate settings, this pretty much has all the settings you need for a perfect guitar noise gate. I like to have one millisecond of attack. These two depend on how tight I want the sound to be. So if you want a real tight sound, you can go for the settings like very low. The threshold, I like to set it just over the noise floor. So in here, I can start hearing the noise. So choose a little bit over there. So that's a good spot. And really important, these two sliders make a huge difference. So the low pass and the high pass. Low pass prevents from all these little noises that happens in the high end that might trigger the gate. So for example, yeah, I'm, this is being triggered. But if I have it over here, they don't get triggered as much. So I just highly suggest focusing here on the low mids. So right about here, that's just where it matters. So you don't get any weird rumbling or high noises triggering the gate. Oh, and if you wanna confirm that it's working, you can click here where it says preview filter output and you should be hearing only your DI signal. That means you're triggering the gate with your DI instead of the amp signal. Hope that helps. See you later.